Hello and welcome to episode 8 of my trophy guide for Demon Souls. In this episode we will finish up Stonefang Tunnel and conduct our first farming run. First, follow me as we make our way to the first boss of this episode. Roll through this tunnel or take out all the enemies with ranged attacks if you feel more comfortable that way. Drop down the hole and follow my path exactly to not fall to your death or miss any important items. Pick up the plague resistance ring, being ring 14 out of 30. Target the heads of these creatures to take them out in one shot. Then pick up the hands of God behind them as they are tied to a trophy. Pick up some grass and a stone of ephemeral eyes close to the fog gate and prepare for the boss fight. Switch your rings for the flame resistance ring and thief ring and set up a new safety safe. Use Cloak to become invisible and enter the boss arena. The boss will still see you if you are in direct line of sight, so let's change that. Hide behind a pillar and circle around it until the boss forgets about you. Then switch your flame resistance ring back to the fragrant ring and position yourself around this spot. The flame lurker will not notice you unless you step directly in front of it. Now use poison cloud to take out the boss which rewards you with the flame lurker's trophy. Pick up the nearby soul and the searing demon soul and make your way to the next boss.
Equip some spice to your item bar and set up another safety safe. This boss is just a gimmick. Sadly, it is a very poorly implemented gimmick. So to stay completely safe throughout the fight, we will take it very slow. Hide behind the pillar and destroy the debris blocking the path with 8 well-aimed shots of your staff. Again, you can aim your ranged attacks by simply looking in the direction you want to shoot in. Repeat the same behind the next pillar. Now you can run all the way to the end of the path where you will be safe. Pick up some grass, operate the ballista and pick up the nearby stone of ephemeral ice. Now make your way through the lower path. Follow my actions exactly. You can safely smack this pile out of the way. Then destroy the following rubble with ranged attacks and heal to full. From here on, the boss can still randomly attack whenever he just feels like it, but you can just barely survive it with full health. Destroy the next two blockades just like before. Run to the last obstacle and keep hitting it. You will most likely get hit by one attack, but you will survive if on full health. Do not heal and simply run up the stairs to get out of danger. Activate the second ballista to immobilize the boss, which basically wins you the fight. On the way to finish him off, go pick up the Master's Ring, being ring 15 out of 30, as well as another soul. Keep your distance and shoot the Dragon God's chin to give it the rest. This will award you the Dragon God's trophy. Pick up the Dragon Demon Soul and fast travel to the Nexus.
unequip the spice again and visit Thomas. Oh, thank goodness you're... I was worried sick. Store the dragon demon soul. All materials. All unequipped equipment. And all unequipped rings, except the regenerator's ring. Then retrieve five stones of ephemeral eyes and the providential ring. We are indebted to you. Consume all souls in your inventory, including the searing demon soul, and level strength to 18. Now make your way back to the Shrine of the Dragon God. You will notice that this world too is now in pure white world tendency. We don't need that, so let's drop it all the way down to pure black. Make sure to set up another backup safe before the process. Kill yourself 7 times and use the Stone of Ephemeral Eyes each time afterwards. Pure Black World Tendency opens up 2 needed events in this world and it also increases the chance of rare item drops from enemies. After using the seventh stone, fast travel to the Tunnel City. Switch your rings for the Regenerator's Ring and Providential Ring and make your way to our farming target. Simply don't stop moving and the exploding minecarts won't hit you. Kill this Tad official and pick up the official's clothes. We want to farm this enemy until he drops a gold coin, which took me around 45 minutes on this attempt, which seems to be about average.
Once you have it, make your way down the elevator and kill the two phantoms for two more stones of ephemeral eyes. Simply keep your distance as they are very powerful in pure black world tendency. I want to mention that from now on our soul count will no longer match up as all of us will get the gold coin at a different point. You can still follow the guide even if you get the gold coin on your very first kill, so do not worry. I will however no longer say what to level up and instead have a level up roadmap in the description so that you can level according to your amount of souls. Back in the Nexus, switch your Providential Ring back to the Fragrant Ring and access the stockpile. Oh, I was worried sick. Store all items except grass, all materials, all unequipped equipment, and the Providential Ring. Level up and make your way to Upper Latria where I will see you in the next episode.